else jumped us. You can't see my face at the moment, but then I apologize. I just wanted to relax this night and play a nice game with you all. So, this game I've loved for many years, but I played the original on Xbox. I've never actually played it on a PC before. And this is the Lost Chapters, which is basically the um, uh, version of the 2005 game, but renewed. So at the moment, whilst I plug in my mouse, there we go. Perfect. Switched on. Okay. So I've got a nice cup of tea. It's PG tips decaffeinated. Even though I liked it a lot when I was young, I'm still not very good just at games in general, so I do apologise and I just I'm also continuing from an old profile. What I do like about Fable what I like a lot is the art that is used. It's just so beautiful. And it looks like you're looking at an old uh, game box. So yeah, Heather continue the game. So basically the way that this game is, is that you are playing as a hero. You can either be good or you can be evil. So depending on you, what you do, depending on what you play as, you can do good deeds and you can do bad deeds. So this game it takes place in a medieval type world creatures such as um, fairies and giant bugs, wasps and monsters too. And this is hero. <laughs> this is the hero's guild. This is where you can choose quests from the map and you can unlock different parts of the map. Oh, you can unlock different parts of the map. Doing different quests. So I just started this actually because I found out that my friend had the game on Steam. So of course I uh, downloaded it because why not? And she was okay with me doing that. So it worked out pretty well. <laughs> okay, I'll just take you around the, the Heroes Guild. It's basically at a very young age. You, at a very young age, you're basically in this town with your family, and a bunch of bandits come and attack your home. You then get taken in by the hero girl to train you in melee combat training and also in will, which is like the, the magic power, the magic power that you have that you can develop. And then you grow up. And I, for some reason, given this guy a uh, mean sideburns <laughs> and mustache because apparently it is the most attractive look that I can get in the game so far. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, this has been remastered, but it's very close to the original game, uh, the early 2000s. And I still just like it, it's just quite charming. Um, cartoony as well. And the sound design is quite nice. And it's just nice to be playing a game, you know, that's kind of close to home in a weird way. Because it's made by Lionhead Studios, who sadly do not exist anymore. But it's a British company and all the accents are very British. It's just, a, yeah, a very <laughs> British game. 
I'm just going to be showing you around if that's okay. Yeah, what kind of games would you recommend? Have you played Fable before, maybe when you were younger? Oh, have you not played it? That's how you do that, okay. I mean, I mean she was a stunner, at least I think she was, but I also thought that the tree around us were running around the little chocolate legs. <laughs> when you want to see her again, probably, I mean, maybe it was just a mushroom. Okay, wonderful. Get a cruise as well, carry on cruise. It's gonna sound really nerdy, but from what I can tell, the, um, what's the word? Ambience. They use like bird sounds that are actually British. I think it sounds really daft, but, um, some movies. So it's supposed to be said in certain countries that have to use the sounds of birds that are not native at all. <laughs> Which, if you're a nerd, then it can be kind of irritating, but a silly observation I made, sorry. <laughs> I also I study stuff about um, traditional buildings. I study a lot about that um, in my degree. And yeah, it's cool to see that inspiration in the architecture. Obviously, it covers a lot of different periods, not completely accurate, but it's a nice little fantasy, fantasy world. It's all a very good inspiration in design and everything. Okay, so here is the demon door. These demon doors I've been up into. There's four in the game, maybe seven. I should remember those again. But it takes you into after you uh, uncover the riddle that the demon will give you, you can be let in here and it can give you a lot of knowledge, information about how to improve your craft. And you can also get like enchanted things here too. I'm glad this is one of those games where you won't die if you go into water. <laughs> that of all games I have. Anyway, sorry, that's the last little thing there. So I mean, big town in the game. There's a lot of missions uh, as well. And these are the cards. Make sure you're not doing any bad deeds, destroying anything. But it's really fun to sometimes just completely destroy a town, not going to lie. Yeah, so I'm going to go back into the guild. And then it's how you doing that at the bottom of my toolbar, I do apologise. And yes, I know I have over 99 on red emails, I know that. <laughs> because I'm just going in the guild. And they have doorways at the end that you can go into. And you go through, which will take you This is going to look out point. You can also communicate and talk to people and also attack them. I'm just choosing not to because it may make unnecessary extra noise. This is a trader. This is a guy who's just on mushrooms for some reason. It's interesting. I think this, yeah, this is the way to Barrowstone. Put yourself to. It's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've tried to get into games like Skyrim and it just doesn't interest. 
stress me as much and I really don't know why because I do love open world games I like sandbox games as well I think certain games are perhaps too big or maybe a little bit too much to just get into so I can't really explain it that well it's quite a small kind of familiar little game so it's kind of easier to easier to start. And my favourite thing to do in Bowerstone is to go inside people's houses and steal stuff. And you can also buy a house here and destroy things. Which is pretty fun. Our oh, seems to be closing right now so I do apologise. I came here a little bit late. Let's see if anybody's in their house and if I can take anything. Darn. Their favorite thing is that you can get chickens, and that you can get like um, <laughs> you can get like special records if you keep them a certain like distance. It's really weird. I think this is the schoolhouse. Yeah, it's the schoolhouse. A little play. donate books here I think that you find which is pretty cool you can buy this house I forgot how much for yeah so I think you, you can get married and have relationships with boy, boys and girls so which is quite good <laughs> And yeah, and you can have a house with them and things like that. So it usually happens in Barrowstone, I've noticed. That's where most of the people are that you can like talk to and socialize with and such. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, somebody's gonna be in here. So I get really hefty fines for sleeping in people's beds. You know, makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Okay, the crickets. A little bit unrealistic. It's quite loud, but oh well, wait, I can talk to you. Okay. Let's see. No, I wait, I wanna interact with you.
And if sounds of like owls or foxes, I think there's a sound of a fox. Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? Huh. Oh, I can't go in. That's frustrating. Hmm, I should really buy myself like a house or something here. to be a lot of enemies here. Which would be interesting. Hmm. Or do I just go back? I don't know. Hmm. I could just go walking outside to be honest. I don't really want to come across any enemies because it can be quite loud. As well as that door. <laughs> Indeed. It's just nice little ambient sounds. I used to like playing this a lot in college. I played this a lot when I was doing my A-levels because I was so, 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 so stressed. Honestly, I think I was more stressed then than taking my degree, which is crazy to think about. She swears by it to help her anxiety. Like, it's just, she said it works so well, it's just amazing. And I really like Stardew Valley. It's one of those things I really want to get into more. There's a lot of enemies. Oh dear. I have to unsheath my weapon. Enough, I don't actually remember this part of the game. It's finding it's difficult kind of remembering what was the original and what they added in. I don't know whether it's been such a long time since I played it again. It's been a real long time actually. Like, I wonder why this is here. I thought it was a demon door. Okay. I don't know who that 
this actually. Very strange, and I don't understand as I do the mushrooms that they're all eating for some reason. Jackson's famous victories in battle of the bloody harvest. It sounds pretty cool, not gonna lie. Can I just take it? I did not know I had half of this stuff, it was great. Okay. Okay. Brilliant, now I've got lots of free stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm really not doing much, I'm literally just wandering around. I just like doing a lot of games, just wandering around in the nature of- oh, why were they out so late in the picnic area? That's very strange. Very suspicious. <laughs> I get the birds, that's cute. I don't know what that is and I completely forgot. <laughs> the good thing about having very short-term memory is that you can play things again and again and things again and again and not remember them but the bad thing is that you forget a lot of stuff <laughs> which can be frustrating there's a lot of poppies around isn't there it's cool okay go down to Barrowstone again taking a look at more places and maybe stealing more stuff one of my favorite things to do it would be a bit too loud to actually do the story mode, but if you want me to do it, then I can. It's just because obviously fighting enemies is loud. There's no way, two ways about it, unless I get rid of the sound. It'd just be too loud otherwise, if you know what I mean. Whilst this is mostly just ambient, ambient sounds, it's not as bad. Still sleeping, how frustrating. Good idea. Okay, so yes, yeah, this is a witch that you give the mushrooms to, and she makes a potion that you can give to the child who's sick in Varastar. Stone key. I don't think you can do anything with the boats here. Yeah. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think that you can anyway. I don't think so. I really don't know whether or not it becomes significant either. I, I genuinely. I hope you liked this little video, so again, sorry my face wasn't in the video. Um, I will eventually find that pesky memory card. It frustrates me how small they are and how easy they are to lose. And how frustrating it can be to lose them too. It's just very, very annoying. <laughs> but yeah. Hello. Hope to see you again soon. If there are any games that you'd like me to play, any nice relaxing games that I've so far played. Look at how good they are. Look at these early 2000s pictures. Like, wow. That is a, like, wow. Especially the uh, cut on the left is 
it's just very of its time. Oh my gosh. Amazing. The Mohawk. I love it. Okay. Anyway, yeah, if there are any games that are relaxing, I've done Minecraft. And Minecraft, Stardew Valley, and Fable, and I think oh, the other game I did. I just watched another game. I cannot remember, I do apologize, but. Oh, The Sims, I remember now, sorry. <laughs> Again, just a really bad memory. See you again really soon, and I hope you all have a wonderful night's sleep. Good night, my little night owl.